All right, so today we're going to talk about a bioreactor, a biological reactor. And it's pretty simple, okay, it's pretty simple, the idea to it, but it can be kind of um, tricky figuring out how to put one together. So that's why I thought I'd just make a quick video, show you what's up. So what do we got going on here? We've got a sump pit, like a basement for a house basement sump pit from, I think I got it from Home Depot. And I believe it's a 30 gallon, it might be a 20 gallon. But the reason why I like this and the reason why I was recommended this is because the lid sits down. This is the side of the sump pit and the lid sits down where if you have a trash can most of the time a trash can, you could use a trash can, but the trash can lid will go over the top and kind of, you know, go over the top of the container where this has a, when we open this up, you're going to see there's a lot of water going on down here. So there's a lot of humidity and what happens is a lot of condensation will build up and people have complained that the condensation builds up and then drips along the side of the container and that, that's apparently a problem. So, needless to say, you get a sump pit from Home Depot where this lid sits in here. I don't have to worry about it. I'm, I'm living stress-free. So, we've got a little pump. It doesn't, this one doesn't have a sticker on it, but it's like a maxi jet. Um, I think you could... You could use like a maxi jet, what, 500 or 600. I think I'm using a maxi jet 1200. But you don't need a huge pump. That's taking water from my, my, my water system where the rays are on the other side of this wall. This is the filter. This sits in the filter. And it's pumping their water through this bioreactor. And then the drain line is right here from the bioreactor. And you can see it bubbling. It's bubble times. And I have an air pump. Now this air pump is that right there. So put the video on pause and there you go. That's the air pump. I believe this is half inch line. I just used, I used a uh, braided and non braided line. I just used what I had. Um, so I believe that's half inch or five eighths, one of the two. When you get the pump, take the. I took the pump with me to Home Depot or Lowe's. I think Lowe's has more fittings than Home Depot, but I don't think Lowe's had this. So I had to go to Home Depot for this. But anyways, let's open it up. Open it on up. Let's look inside. So here we go. We got the return. This is the pump. This is the maxi jet return uh, water coming in. Now notice the water line is right here, and my maxi my return line is above the water line. So when the power goes out, I don't have these things getting siphoned into my pump. When this pump turns off, there's no water rushing back down from this chamber. I have a drain, this is my drain line. It's So my return line is, uh, I use uh, bulkheads, which you can get online, bulk, B-U-L-K-H-E-A-D, bulkhead. This is a half inch with a threaded, it's a threaded fitting, and then I got this flexible return line. It's like an aquarium flexible return line nozzle thingamabob. My drain line is a one inch line. I wanted to make sure enough water was getting out of this thing. Now, I used what I had. This is like a corrugated one inch um, pipe with a whole bunch of holes. You can use a you know, piece of one inch PVC and just drill a whole bunch of, um, well, you don't want to drill holes any bigger than this stuff, okay? This stuff right here is that right there. Now I believe this took Ultra Media. Um, 
This one is from Aqua Ultraviolet. Let's see if I can pull it around. Let's have a look. So you can pause the video and get more information. Okay, so that's this media. I believe I used two, that's like 60 bucks a box. All right. Some things you tell your wife and some things you don't tell your wife. Don't tell her you spent $60 when you need two boxes at least. I believe I used two boxes. It's been a while. But it kind of looks like spaghetti, uh, macaroni. But this stuff has got that, see how it's got those pieces, uh, the peace sign in there? Is that a peace sign or is that a Mercedes sign? I think it's Mercedes. What that does is these pieces don't crush. I guess there was a problem. They had different media that didn't have those um, support rods or support stuff in there and they'd crush. Because they're, I mean, they're cruising. Look at them. Apparently they could get crushed. This stuff, I haven't had a problem with any of it crushing. It's just doing its thing, living, living large. So I wrapped fiberglass door screen around my, because these holes were big enough to where, it, even though you don't think so, these things will work their way through. Don't know why. So I had, I wrapped mine in, in fiberglass screening and just used zip ties to keep it on there, which works pretty well. I haven't had any of those things in my filter, these macaroni pieces. My airline comes in, comes down. Now I got a valve on mine, I just opened it right up. So maybe you don't need a valve on yours. If you go with what I'm doing here, it's just rocking and rolling. Now, the hardest part is getting this. So these are attached to air lines, air, air stones, and I do not know the type of air stone. So I'm going to have to look that up. I'll have to put that in the description. Right now I'm still working downstairs when I'm uploading this video. So there are four air stones. This you're going to have to build. All right. I get the air stones. Go to Lowe's, go to Home Depot, wherever you have to go. This is just vinyl tubing that... So there's, there's a barbed fitting on this, which was initially white. And that's a threaded fitting, which I believe is half inch, but it might be three eighths. I don't know. You're just going to have to work with it when you're there making some, because what this is, when it sits at the bottom, they're spread out. So there's an air stone over, at the bottom. There's an air stone here, air stone here, air stone there, air stone over there. And it's, there's bubbles coming up everywhere. So there's not really a dead spot down there. So that's what this does. Um, this is just a three, you know, a, a T, three, three quarter, three quarter T, all slip. So this piece I got right here, uh, that the barb fitting got screwed into, this piece slipped into the three way. And then this one's also a three, three way, but this one's got threads on the T. So then I, this is this is a three quarter inch barb fitting male that got that got tightened into this female threaded um, T. And I don't know. I mean, I'm not a plumber, guys. I'm a humble fish guy. So that's my best explanation. I don't know. Let's see. Actually, here I got. Ooh, look at me. Sorry for the mess. Sorry for the mess. The maid didn't show up down here. Um, dang it. Of course, it's got to have tape on it. Here. Before you send it out, wrap it with uh, clear tape. I don't know if we really got to wrap it in clear tape. Wrap it in clear tape, I said. Dang it. Hold on. I'll pause it a second. Ta-da. TP magic. So, what do we got? That's what we got. Oh, so that's a 3 8 barb. So that's the trick. You want to get four of these. Just look them up online. I don't... Maybe maybe I'll try to find the link I had, but yeah. 
you know, it was just getting it online. If I do find the link for all this stuff, for like the air stones and the air pump, because I got them from the same place. All the rest of it was my mad science abilities as a mad scientist. So there's your air stone. That's a 3 8 Trying to find a 3 8 barb. You know, it's just getting this this thing built somehow. That's all out of three quarter to a three quarter inch line to a three quarter inch threaded bulkhead, and then the opposite side there's a there's another um, barbed male threaded fitting that got screwed into the top of the bulkhead. None. So that's basically it, I think. And then you put it down. You put it down at the bottom, I say, singing at it all day. I usually sing at my stuff. It seems to not break that way. All right, so it goes way at the bottom. Yeah. Bottom times, bottoms on up. But see, it's, I mean, okay, so I made one of these for my customer, and it's loud. I mean, that's loud. Nobody wants that in the living room. Um, and when these things are tumbling against the side of the plastic, it's like a drum. It's like a, it's so annoying. And I had to build, one of my customers has rays, so I had to build him one of these for his aquarium. And he, he was also, he was getting dry, driven crazy by the sound. And so he went and got some insulation and just dumped insulation all over the thing. And it quieted right up. I'm like, Dang good job. I went and got some insulation. You probably will too. Just shuts it right up. I mean, that thing's, there's a lot of movement going on in there, but it's pretty quiet. So there you go. I hope I answered, I don't have like a 10 point sheet here that I'm going through, but maybe in the item description underneath this video, I'll try to make some things happen if not tonight soon but i'll try to make some things happen but there you go there's your bioreactor super awesome works really well um oh so why do we have an air an air pump so the air is stirring all that bioreactor media and oxygen is what really grows bacteria like like bananas so it's getting all this oxygen, it's growing like crazy, and in the water you're pumping through it, it's just feasting on the trace elements or nitrates or nitrite, anything. It's trying to grow. So it works pretty dang well. I still have my system on a drip, but then again, I've got, what, five decent sized stingrays down here. So I still have mine on about a hundred a day, hundred gallon a day drip. This is about a thousand, roughly about a thousand gallon system. So it isn't very big, um, but I got mine on a, you know, I use th this right here is my exhaust for my RO. So whenever I'm filling up RO, I just let, then I just turn off the, the uh, this orange one is I have to three, that's not an RO, that's just a three chamber unit with different carbons in it. Regu normal carbon, uh, I believe one micron or 0.5 micron, just a small micron, and then a chlorine blaster, carbon, fine carbon, and then it comes into the system. And usually I set the, you know, um, I, I try to get it about 100 gallons a day, which is just kind of like a steady stream, not blasting stream, but just, I don't know, you can, uh, I might do a video on how to measure all that. But, so this is on usually about 100 gallons a day drip, or I turn that part off when I'm filling up my RO, and then the RO exhaust goes in here. But there you go, a bioreactor. Pretty awesome, pretty super sweetness. Let me know of any questions. Bye.